Hey guys, happy Thursday. I am excited about today's video topic. I'm gonna to be talking about self-confidence. Um, such an important topic. It is truly a game changer in your life, definitely in your business. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that I hear from people that really holds them back from getting started in their business, from taking action in their business, from getting the results that they want in their business. Um, and it plays out in so many different areas of our life. And so I want to really talk about this. I wanna talk about like what self-confidence really is, how you build it or how you get it. Um, I think we have this misconception that it's something that some people just have and other people don't right and i know for me it's definitely something that i felt like i was lacking for a lot of my life i just did not feel confident in myself i was very hard on myself um, always thinking that other people were better than me in some way and it just really had a, a huge impact on me and so i want to talk about that and bring like some awareness around it um, and really show you guys some things that you may have not known or been thinking about self-confidence that i think is going to really help you um, start to build your own confidence so that you can start going out there and taking action and making the business and the life that you want which is what I think life is all about like creating the life we want so um, it's exciting when you are no longer holding yourself back from doing that and instead can just you know go for it and, and do it and this is really the truth like we all have the capability of doing it and what happens is so many of us hold ourselves back so don't want that to happen to you I want you to be able to move forward so I'm gonna go through that these are some of the biggest things that I hear from people when I talk to them about starting their business um, and a lot of it has to do with self-confidence so I want to share it with you because you're gonna be like oh yes I feel the same way so most people are afraid of failure right that's one of the biggest things I hear hey Jillian how are you um, you're afraid of what people will think of you for maybe starting your business, for maybe not doing as well as you would like to in your business or as well as you think that other people think you should be doing in your business. Um, a lot of times when we're getting started, we're afraid of things not happening fast enough. Um, so doubting your abilities, like can I really be a good coach? Can I really be a good business owner? Um, you know, those are big things. Doubting whether you're going to really follow through and take consistent action as you said crystal like that's a big one like can I really be consistent like a lot of people don't trust themselves to actually follow through and do what it takes to create a successful business um, so obviously that's gonna create a lot of self-doubt so um, so those are some of the biggest things that I, I hear from people and obviously when you are really like thinking those things um, that's gonna make you very hesitant to move forward with your business um, because you're not feeling confident that you can follow through and get the results that you want um, yeah like Crystal saying it's like you stop before you even start so a lot of people actually decide to fail ahead of time by not even giving themselves the chance to see what's possible for them because they have all these thoughts about like what if this happens what if that happens um, and don't even move forward with things because they're so afraid of what possibly could happen um, and so the definition of self-confidence is really like being secure in yourself and your abilities but I've recently come across another definition that I think actually really helps me more and I think would help you as well so um, self-confidence being your ability to trust yourself and why I think this is such a powerful definition is because it really shows you that you have the ability to build your self-confidence and it isn't just something that you're born with and you have or you're or you don't um, and so what what does it mean to like be able to trust yourself right like it means that if you say you're gonna do something you're gonna follow through and actually do it right so it's like if you just think about this like what if you always did everything that you said you were gonna do right like nobody would be probably overweight you know anyone who decides they want to lose weight would they just would eat healthy they wouldn't eat crap they would work out like um, 
you know, you would say, I'm going to do this for my business or I'm going to take this action. You would just do it, right? Like, so it's really this ability to trust yourself. Like if you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. And I just want you to think about like what your life would be like if everything that you said you were going to do, you actually did it. Like you could create and do absolutely anything that you want to do. And it's such like a little simple thing, right? But um, so many of us don't do it. And then we don't trust ourselves because we say we're going to do something. Like we say, I'm going to take that action today. And then we don't do it. And then you feel like you don't trust yourself. Like you're at the, um, you know, effect of maybe I'll do it or maybe I won't. And one of the things that I really like to think about because it's something that I have struggled with is when it comes like around food and like binge eating or emotional eating, um, like this ability of, or this feeling of being like out of control or like you can't trust yourself. Like y you can't trust what's happening. Like you, you don't have any control over it. Um, and that obviously really is a big sabotager of self of self confidence, right? Because we're like, I can't trust myself. And so when you start to like really, I'm going to give you some steps to really start like working on this and building that self confidence. But, um, it's a big thing when you know, like if I say I'm going to do something or I'm going to eat something or not eat something, or I'm going to do something in my business and you actually do it, like just think of how good that feels. Right. So, um, definitely a huge builder of self-confidence um yeah connected to integrity and vulnerability like absolutely like integrity huge like definitely like saying you're gonna do something and doing it and being and all that it matters is that is for yourself it doesn't even matter about like other people like you want to say you're gonna do something and follow through and do it so that you trust yourself and you know like i can do anything that i say i'm gonna do um so the other thing is being willing to experience, hey Charmaine, how are you? Experience any emotion, right? So saying that you're gonna do something and following through on it, but the other thing that's gonna really allow you to build the self-confidence is the willingness to feel any emotion. So why this is so important is because our brain is designed to be in fear mode. It's designed to look for um, things that are wrong in our life, things that are wrong with us, things that are wrong with other people. It's designed to like worry and create fear. And if we allow our brain to just kind of function how it's meant to function, which, and why it does that is because of back in the day, like when we were, you know, cavemen or out there like living in the wilderness, we needed our brain to be on like hyperdrive looking for danger to keep us safe. Okay, like that's just how our brain is meant to function. Obviously, we're not living in those circumstances anymore and we don't need to like be looking for bears and, you know, animals out in the wild to try to keep ourselves safe. So what's happening now is our brain is functioned to work like that, but it's not serving us in our current lifestyle because we, we are, you know, safe. Um, but it's keeping us from doing, taking action in our life that's going to help us build the life that we want now. Because the reality is, in order to create the life that we want, the business that we want, we have to be willing to feel those emotions, the fear, the um, discomfort, the possible like humiliation or disappointment that's gonna come with starting, with trying something new and starting something new and doing something that you are not used to doing, right? Um, yeah. So the brain wants to be efficient and protective. Definitely, your brain is always trying to protect you. And so it doesn't know the difference of the fear of a bear and like, you know, self-preservation in that way versus the fear of creating a Facebook post and putting yourself out there to be seen. You know what I mean? Like your brain is like, you're gonna die, you're gonna die either way. And so when you become aware of like how the brain is working, um, then you can know like I can feel this fear and self-confidence doesn't mean that you don't feel fear everyone feels fear everyone feels doubt everyone feels worry like everyone feels that but it's self-confidence comes from when you know that you can feel that feeling 
and you're willing to feel that feeling and you'll be okay, right? Like, think about this too. Like, what if I just knew like that I could do anything because, you know, it might make me feel fearful. It might make me feel uncomfortable, but that feeling is okay and I'm going to do it anyways. So that's really what comes from the power of feeling our emotions. And if you start to realize like how much you've been allowing your um, avoidance of certain emotions to run your life, um, there's so much power in that because most of us don't want to feel fear. Most of us don't want to feel humiliation. Most of us don't want to feel disappointment. And so we avoid doing all those things that might possibly make us feel that way. But this is the thing. <laughs> what When you realize that the worst thing that can possibly happen to you is an emotion, which is a feeling, which is a vibration in your body, and you realize that that isn't actually going to harm you in some way, it's just a vibration moving in your body, then you're like, it's okay for me to feel fear. It's okay for me to feel disappointment. Like, it's just a vibration in my body. It feels uncomfortable, right? Like, we don't like those feelings. We don't like to feel like sad and, um, you know, disappointed or humiliated or lonely. Like, we don't like to feel that way because it's not really a comfortable feeling but it doesn't hurt you in any way. So when you can know that you can handle feeling any emotion and you're okay with feeling it, literally the world is your oyster. Is that the saying? <laughs> but you can do anything. Like there is nothing that you wouldn't be willing to do because you know you can feel any emotion and you're gonna be okay. So I just wanna share that with you guys because I think there's like so much power in that. Um, and when you really start seeing that we have such an ability to build our self-confidence. So um, your, your self-confidence really comes from also like how you think about yourself, right? And so what I want you to also be aware of is that um, most of our thoughts are habitual. So they're just something that we've been thinking forever and ever and ever. Like a lot of us have this opinion or the story of ourselves that goes back to when we were in elementary school maybe right and we've been telling ourselves that same story about ourselves forever and ever and ever and when you can start kind of stepping away from these thoughts or this story that you have and you can look and see what you've been thinking about yourself um, you realize that these thoughts that you're always thinking about yourself like you may have the story that I'm shy or I'm not very good at you know social interactions or I'm not very good at putting myself out there I would just want you to realize like um, you can ask yourself like is this really true is it true and most of those things like cannot be proven as a fact but they're just something that you've been telling yourself for a long time so it's become a belief and you're accepting it as true so I want you to start like seeing these thoughts that have been going in your mind creating your beliefs about yourself that have been kind of putting you into this little like cage of who you think you are and what you're capable of. Because when you can start to see those, you can separate yourself from them and not allow that to become your identity. Hey Dane, I think I'm saying it right, but let me know. Um, who said yay for the human condition? That's so funny. But it's so true. This is just like the human experience and it's okay. But when you can really learn how to manage your brain and not allow your brain to kind of keep you stuck there's so much power in that and you can think of it as something like it's kind of a little adventure it's fun like it's it's challenging for sure but um there's so much that's that's possible for you that's too funny mary um let me think of what else i wanted to say i had a few more things okay so a lot of us, a lot of the clients I work with are perfectionists. Like we kind of say we're perfectionists, right? And so um, I think one of the big things to be aware of is that we think like, oh, if I don't do it perfectly, then I'm going to feel negatively. So I'm just not going to do it at all, right? Um, and so once again, 
I think there's some thought work that goes in there too, like thinking that you have to do things perfectly because nobody does, like there's not even such a thing as perfect. Um, so just be aware, being aware of that. But then and also knowing like, let's say you do do something and you put it out there and you don't get the result that you want and you feel disappointed, knowing that I'm okay with feeling disappointed. And if I feel disappointed, that's okay. Like I'm willing to feel it, it's not gonna hurt me, it's not gonna kill me for sure, um, and I'm okay with feeling it. And that really is gonna allow you to like move through like that perfection that may be keeping you stuck from even like taking action in the first place. Um, Crystal, we look into our past to find our future. Yeah, yeah. So we think that because of how we've been in the past that that means how we need to be in the future. But the only reason that that happens and why often we do keep recreating our past again and again is because we aren't looking at the thoughts that we are thinking that are creating those beliefs that we have about ourselves that then determine the actions that we take. Because if you think like, I'm not a good entrepreneur, or I'm not that kind of person, I'm not someone who's successful, I'm not someone who can create my own, my own money in my life, then you, you believe that story. Like you're, you're just assuming that's true where it's really just a story and you keep taking action from that place and you keep recreating that. But if you start to look at those thoughts and those beliefs and you're like, there's no truth to that. Like I am someone who can create money in my life. I am someone who has something important to share in the world. I am someone who can create a successful business. Um, and you start to just say, start to say those things like are those true who decides whether they're true you decide whether they're true so you can decide whatever you want about yourself and start telling that story and then taking action from that place um, and that's how you really start creating anything that you want in your life think about like okay if you are thinking positive thoughts about yourself and that you can do anything that you want and you're not afraid to feel any emotion like disappointment or you know not having things work out the way you want to or fear what is to stop you from doing anything and creating anything you want in your life you will be healthy you will be at your perfect weight you will um you know have the relationship you want you will have the business you want you will be getting the results you want and so obviously like that's just not cake because everyone would do it but when you're aware of it and you know like the things that are stopping you, that's really where this key runs into creating whatever it is you want. So does that make sense to you guys and you have any questions on it? Um, the other thing that I wanted to say, <laughs> Charmaine, this is going, I've been, so Charmaine's saying she's been hesitating announcing her business because she's afraid of actually getting clients. Um, so this is like a really good one and where a lot of people get stuck, right? So what I would ask is, is why are you afraid of getting clients? Like, let's look at that, which we will look at Charmaine. So don't you worry. Um, but what, what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of people not getting results? Are you afraid of not knowing the right thing to say? Like, what is it? Like, let's look into that and like, look at the truth of what's going on. Cause there's so much power in that. But if you never question those thoughts, like why, why am I feeling that way? Then you can just allow that to continue to stop you forever. So, um, but this is why it's so important to do the thought work and why we really look into the stuff with all my clients and you know, the work we do because I know it's not just about having, not knowing what to say. So that's such a good one. Okay, so let's look at this, okay, right? Like, <laughs> I love that you're bringing this up. So, okay, let's say you're working with your client and they they say something to you or whatever and you're, you're having this conversation with them and you run to the spot and you're like, I don't know what to say. And there's like this moment of silence or whatever, or you say something really awkward, okay. What is the worst thing that's going to happen? Let's say your client's like, you're weird or whatever, like worst case scenario, most likely they're not gonna say anything and they're just gonna be sitting there. But what's gonna happen is you're gonna feel uncomfortable. That's the worst thing that's gonna happen, <laughs> okay? So if you're willing to feel uncomfortable, then it's fine, it's fine. And I mean, the thing is about not knowing what to say, like, if if you get into a moment of silence like it's okay it's not that big of a deal you can you know talk about something else if they ask you a question and you don't know the answer you can say 
That's a good question. I'm not sure. Let me look it up and I'll get back to you. Um, so, and, and how you really learn as far as like the coaching and how things are going to work and stuff too, is by doing it. So I'd say like in the beginning, just be like willing to like maybe feel uncomfortable. Maybe it will happen. Maybe you won't know what to say. And what's the worst thing that's going to happen? Um, so when you're willing to like feel whatever is going to come up, if you didn't know what to say, then you're fine. You can just move forward with it and know that, you know, whatever happens, the worst thing that's going to happen, you're going to feel something, it's going to feel uncomfortable, and then you move on with it. So, um, but that's such a good one. Um, Michelle, let me see what you were saying. Oh, dragging your feet on doing ideal client interviews. Yeah, because it's a new direction and worried what people think. So that was another good one I wanted to bring up too. Like, um, you know, like when you're really self-confident, like you feel so good or secure in yourself and how you feel about yourself and that you don't worry about what anyone thinks of you. And I'm not saying that this is just like cake, like most of us do worry about what people think of us. But think about this, like if you really were self-confident and you're like, I'm willing to feel anything and I know that I'm capable of whatever I want. Um, then it really doesn't matter what anyone thinks about you. And think of how freeing it would be to not give a shit what anyone thinks about you, right? Like there's so much freedom in that. And why do we care about what people think about us? Um, people who are worried about living their own life and truly really don't care about what we're doing. Um, but if they do have an opinion of what you're doing, like let's say someone says like, oh, it's weird like you're you're changing directions in your business like you don't know what you want or you know you can't decide or whatever they say like maybe you feel like a little like okay that was awkward or uncomfortable or, or whatever and then that's really like the worst thing that's gonna happen right is that feeling of like whatever you feel because someone states their opinion about what it is that you're doing I mean this comes up obviously like sometimes our partners aren't supportive or don't really get it or our family and the thing is, I've actually seen people, you know, do things or create a life based off of what other people think they should be doing. And then you're not doing what you want to be doing and you're not happy. And if you really think about anyone who loves you or cares about you in your life, like they most likely want you to be happy. And if they don't, then I wouldn't care what they're thinking anyways. Like you shouldn't anyways. But um, I mean, if you just start like really question these thoughts and these beliefs because there's so much power in questioning them most of the time we just accept them and we don't really see the truth of what's going on so but that's such a good one it comes up for everyone like worrying about what other people think um so um yeah both of you guys clients not knowing what to say that is a big one um let me see what you're saying Christelle. i used to think it'd have to be Dumb to feel that confident. Yeah, yeah, and confidence is, it's really different than um, like being arrogant, right? Like arrogant is where you're usually like putting other people down because you need to do that in order to make yourself better than other people. But self-confidence is just like, I'm great and I'm awesome and everyone else is great and awesome as well. Um, and I think the thing about self-confidence too is it makes you a very attractive person um, for other people to be around and it attracts more goodness into your life because when you are thinking highly of yourself, you are thinking you're looking for more good things. You're looking, you're looking for more good things in yourself, but you're also looking for more good things in the world, right? And so what we look for and what we um, focus on is what we attract more of and when you are have a negative um, like self-confidence or you think negatively of yourself that's what you're looking for and that's what you're seeing and that's more of what you're attracting into your life um, so just being aware of that is is so important um, yeah thanks for hopping on you guys so I think that's all I had to cover, but if you guys have anything else, let me know. Like, I love talking about this. Truly, like, I think confidence is one of my biggest topics. Obviously, so important. Um, you know, I think 
starting and growing my business has been the biggest confidence boost for me. Um, and I think it is for so many people because it's something that so many of us really want to do, but we hold ourselves back from doing it because of all these things. So when you start telling yourself, I want to do these things and taking action on them, such a, a builder, cause you're like, I said, I wanted to do this and I actually did it. Like I said, then you trust yourself and you know, you're going to follow through. Um, so it's, it's such, do it, do it. If there's stuff you want to do in your life, like start doing, um, um, you know, start really being aware of your confidence and looking at these things, looking at your thoughts and your beliefs, um, practice feeling those emotions, knowing that, you know, you can feel any emotion. It's a vibration in your body. It's not going to hurt you. Um, but these things are going to really change your confidence so much. Um, so if you guys have any questions, if you catch the replay, let me know if you're interested in exploring working together where we work on all this stuff as well as having a step-by-step -step plan for building your business growing your business getting your online marketing going um you know let me know i'd be happy to speak with you about that um i will put a link to sign up for a free call with me around this video somewhere but i'd love to speak with you about that because i think we should all be self-confident and we should all be creating the business and the life that we really want um, why not? We have this one short little life to live and why not make the most out of it? Why not try to do whatever you can and create the life you want? Like it's so much more fun than spending your life scared and not taking action towards what you want. So <laughs> you're going to go confront your procrastination monster. I love it. You're welcome. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, if you, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, let me know. I love, love, love talking about this. Um, and I think it's such an important topic. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Lisa. Um, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. I will probably be popping on next week from the North Woods. Um, so looking forward to seeing you then if you want to pop on as well. So I will talk to all you guys soon. Bye.